My name is Alice Wolf. I'm very happy to be here with all of you and with my fellow fellows and my director um, to speak briefly about this theme of, um, of uh, community and leadership and immigration and advocacy. Now, we all know, and I think somebody mentioned it, that at this particular time, all of those themes are very, very important. And every day, every single day, we see how the community is responding. We see the leadership of various people with many different kinds of backgrounds um, who are trying to get us out of the morass that we are in. Uh, we see the importance of advocacy, uh, which perhaps has never been any more important than it is now. Um, and of course, the immigrant story is highlighted every day, but is also highlighted in so many of our backgrounds. So I'm going to speak a little bit differently from my colleagues. I'm going to talk a little bit about my, my background of coming from the community and becoming a community leader and connecting all of that with my immigrant background. I, I, be, I ran for office for the Cambridge School Committee in the early 1970s. That was after I was, what in tradition of that time, I was the PTA president. <laughs> and actually, um, the PTA president, I was a very vocal, active PTA president. <laughs> and, um, and, and, uh, started things such as having um, parents involved in the selection of school principals and school administrators. I mean, that was one of, the, one of the themes. But this came out of the community, and it came to be really advocacy to bring me to the leadership around the school committee. And I was many, several terms in the school committee, uh, and then ran for the city council. Now, it, I'm going to now go to the immigrant part because this has such relevance today. Uh, in, my, in the mid-1980s, uh, Cambridge was the first community in the state, maybe in the country, to become a sanctuary city. And guess what? I was the leader of that. <laughs> and, <laughs> at, well, but what I want to tell you about it is that it came from the fact, not that I was a loudmouth and wanted to be a leader, but it came from the fact that we had living in the community some people from El Salvador who had fled from persecution, and not only had they fled from persecution in El Salvador, but our government, in its wisdom, or lack of wisdom, had a policy, their policies for um, allowing people to um, uh, receive their political asylum was stacked against people from El Salvador. So 90% of the people who tried to immigrate from El Salvador would not get political asylum, although they were all political escapees. From countries that we were, um, that we were uh, in cahoots with, 90% the political asylum. So that was the context in which we, 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 did, we worked. I brought with many other people, and this is one of the things I want to say about our group, is I, I had said that this earlier, collaboration is one of the things that, uh, excuse me, the men in the room, but that women do particularly well in trying to get things done. And we collaborated in our community um, to get these immigrants, these to, to get the sanctuary resolution that would um, help us with this immigrant population. It was not just so that you understand, this is, this is an old Cambridge. The old Cambridge did not vote nine nothing for sanctuary cities in the city council. Every, every vote was five four, one way or the other. <laughs> and on the floor of the city council when a blind, uh, blindfold El Salvadoran woman, she was blindfold because she did not want to be recognized, 
came and testified to the city council, it was a very, very moving moment. And it was on that day that I first, for the first time in public, not that I kept it secret, it was the first time that I spoke about my Im immigrant background and the fact that we'd escaped from the Nazis and so forth. And I did it, it was not a, uh, was not a political strategy. It came from my being so overwhelmed by seeing this woman from El Salvador uh, blindfolded before us that it just came out of me. So two things happened as a result of that. One was it changed one vote and the, and the uh, resolution passed five to four. <laughs> but the second thing was, so to understand that I then began to realize, which I had not um, articulated to myself, uh, that uh, my immigrant experience and what had happened to our family had somehow, though not consciously, led me to get onto this path of get being involved in politics. I thought I was doing it because I had little kids and we weren't going to fix education. But in fact, it was really much broader. And so all of these paths for each of us and for all of you, I know, and to this day, show how these experiences move communities forward or backward, and how necessary it is to be able to understand the importance of the issues around immigration, around equality, about access, about not having a government that does not recognize um, that people should be getting political asylum. And so there's a lot more to say about that. But we are here because these themes are very important and we are all gonna collaborate mm -hmm. together, I hope, over the course of time. And seeing Charlotte, I will just end it by saying, I met Charlotte um, in about 1994 and it was at the Mass Women's Political Caucus that was having, I was active in it and Charlotte, we had a training for people who might run for office and Charlotte was standing High up on the, we were, it was a room which had seats, you know, going up. Charlotte was and came and spoke because she wanted to be a candidate. And I said, boy, there is a woman who's going places. <laughs> <laughs> so I thanked Charlotte. And then when I came into the legislature was when she became chairman of the housing committee. And I, housing was one of my issues. And I was a member of her committee. And we worked together on the 295 million dollar bond bill. Which doesn't sound like a lot of it now, but it was great. It was a lot, of, it was a lot for affordable housing. So we are, I hope that we will be a cohesive group that will be able to collaborate and make a difference for our mentees and for the future of the program.